So I did it. I finally got tired of my Zero FX and went and picked me up one of these sweet things, a Beta Cross Trainer. All I can say is that this shit's tits. Uh, first ride on the Cross Trainer! The Beta was the first two-stroke I have ever ridden, and it was surprisingly easy to get used to, despite my love for George Michael and laughable genitalia. It is 15% smaller than a standard enduro bike, and uses a detuned Beta RR300 engine. I had to only do minimal work to the ergonomics to make it suit my abnormally large frame. As far as mods go, I don't see myself doing too much to it, outside of the normal stuff you do to any bike. Uh, but for starters, I have a pipe guard skip plate combo protector, uh, and radiator guards from Force Accessories, an Australian company, on order. I also put on a Slavens Racing Link Skid, Psychra Hand Guards, and a Wolfman and Dural Toolkit. After they get the oil injection thing figured out, I think I'm also going to swap the stock card for Electron card. The clutch pulls a bit harder than I'd like, so I also have a Clake One Light clutch on order, and I may be getting a Midwest brake lever to ease the brake pull some. I injured my wrist starting a lawnmower that seized mid pull a few years ago. So I will probably spring for some flex bars here soon, as my wrists hurt after each ride. But this is more of a me thing than anything to do with the bike. You can find links to all this crap in the description. One of the reasons I chose this particular bike is because I've been watching the Cross Training Enduro Cross and Enduro Techniques YouTube channel lately, and I decided it was high time I actually got good at dirt riding. Traditionally speaking, I'm the slowest in our riding group, and I also sit more than any of the others. On the hill climbs, I was absolutely amazed at how well the beta gripped the terrain. I am sure it had a lot to do with the great golden tires that came stock on the thing. Plus, I was only running about 10 PSI. On the Zero, because I always ran on the street too, I would ride with a D606 rear and an MT21 front tire. I found that this was a really good dual sport setup, but not great on the dirt. It was really more of a compromise. Yeah. You really should have gone first, so you'd have something to show the wife. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, this, this area. area. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Here in Alabama, it is never dry. You always have to wash out approximately infinity pounds of mud from your bike every time you ride. God damn it, I'm like 50 feet tall. How low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? Alright. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I thought you were about to have a hemorrhoid or something. Yeah. Wait, what did like you think was about to have? Being the only bit of red in a sea of orange, everyone wanted to give my bike a go. Which meant I got an opportunity to try out a few different bikes, all of which were KTMs. Here is how I think they compare. But before I continue, I want to preface that there are a few things I'm exceptional at. Collecting cats software engineering, and annoyingly enough, ripping my pants every time I ride. But this ripping isn't due to me being anything but shit at dirt biking and riding motorcycles in general. So take what I say with a cup of salt, sea salt, that you bite down on and it breaks your teeth. The KTM 200 was a beater bike Jeff Jeff picked up cheap and put a lot of work into. He recently put Electron Carb in it and it runs great now. Uh, my general impression of this thing was that it was very, very smooth power delivery. Uh, no doubt this is attributed to that new carb, and the front end felt very light. After riding this and getting back on the beta, I had a real sense that my cross trainer has a bit too much power for me, so I'm going to play with the very easy to adjust power valve and get the power dialed in. This bike was the closest to my beta out of anyone in our riding group, so offered me the closest comparison. They were surprisingly different bikes, however. My beta offers a lot of feedback. You feel every rev and every bump on the ground, while the KTM has, it was a lot more comfortable. The KTM 690 is another great bike, and one that I'm a bit jealous of. While it was very heavy for this sort of riding, it is probably the best dual sport bike you can buy in the States right now. After riding around on my beta, this thing really felt like riding a couch, and reminded me of my old XR650L, except with good suspension, power, brakes, safety, and a general sense of not having been designed in the mid-80s. 
The bottom line is, I want one of these. But I'm holding out for their CCM to bring that GP450 to the States before I trade up the G650 GS. The KTM 500 EXC Andy Rides is a lot of bike. I was already fairly familiar with the platform as I had a 450 XCW for a short time that didn't really suit me. It's a good solid sturdy bike, uh, but it's heavy in the woods and it's way too much power for this cross training thing. You can definitely tell this thing is really at home on a race course. My Zero would just spin that rear tire for days up this hill. Must have been that 70 foot pounds of torque that I put down. Any time that the bike would start to wheel spin, it would just go from 0 to 70 miles per hour instantly, as there was no gears or clutch to mechanically regulate how fast that rear wheel could go. Don't get me wrong, the Zero was a great bike and an absolute blast to ride, but when things went wrong, they quickly would go dits up. If you ever lost momentum up a hill, you would just have to pitch the bike as it would start rolling backwards immediately. Uh, but before I get rid of that Zero, I will do a final ride review in a later video. Get it. Get it, boy. Oh, damn it. Oh, you're good? You don't, you, you don't need any help? Oh, I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we decided to spend a little bit of time practicing slow wheelies and static balancing. Yeah, not bad. Three, two, one. We even had a couple of slow races. First one across the line or touch the ground loses. The feedback the beta gave me made this so much easier than on any other bike I've ever had. Uh, I have down already. I hope that you touch the ground. Ah, shit! I'm down. Jitterbug. <laughs> Jitterbug. <laughs> oh, wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging in like a yo yo. Keep up, you fat bastard. bastard.